What makes you get up when you fall down? What makes your mentality change if there's a great situation or there's a bad situation? How do you dictate that based off the level of pain? Life is going to beat you upside your head. Before you blow up, life will strip you to the core. Many dreams die while suffering. I'm talking about emotionally, spiritually. It could be a relationship. When you're suffering, you give up on the very things that you wanted the most. Your problem is your pain has identified you. Your pain has destroyed you. All of us will hit the wall. That wall shocked some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. It didn't work out for them. They hit the wall and they turned around. But there's some small number. They decide, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be over there. This kind of person refuses to be denied. I need you to evaluate yourself and ask yourself the question, how are you wired? When you have a trial or a tribulation, how are you wired? Does it break you? I'm wired differently. I get excited. Oh no, I love no. I love it, it turns me on. No, Eric, I'll be back. I'll be stronger when I come back. This person doesn't care about the pain because this person knows something. There's no gain without pain. So this person comes back anyhow, again and again. And if you keep on hitting that wall, here's what happens to you. You will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. Let's give her a hand. Let's send her assistance, send her resources. It will come out of nowhere. As you're working times with tears falling down your face, and you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. When your mind knows it's not going to quit, your body will adapt to whatever is in front of it. What happens is you have all these voices that are telling you you're fucked up and this is going to be hard. But for some reason, you put so much practice into you that you can ignore every one of them that are telling you you're not going to fucking make it and still be able to fucking make it because you have put the practice in that you know this is the process. It's such a daunting task that all the voices are saying no. But you still have the conviction that I know I can do this. When you get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're going to run into them, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it. Some of you have been knocked out by light and you got up and saw the blood. You, uh, he hit me. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you still on the ground. If I come back a year later, you still on the ground. That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. I just love myself enough not to be trapped in the same doggone spot for the rest of my life. I love myself too much. So what makes E.T. different than everybody else? Every year I just kept going. I kept going and I kept going and I kept saying one day going to be my day. But you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to quit in the process. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in. And the problem with you, you've not recycled your pain. You're still living off talent. And I challenge you, average people live off talent. Phenomenal people live off efforts. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. Success is a straight line. It's a maze. And when you think you figure that maze out, you hit a wall. And you got to turn the f- around and start again. Everybody's got a fucking plan so they can hit the fucking mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked the f- down the fucking canvas, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is fucked up, what the fuck are you going to do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay f***ing hard. And I'm not here because I'm the best. I'm here because they tried to break me, and they could. 